Hispanic representation matters in the classroom because I am a living example to my students that education and training can change your life. The possibilities are endless. They can get an education, they can learn a trade, and they can be committed. I'm a strong believer in there's more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. So to be an instructor, I believe there's a lot of giving. When you have that in your heart, it, and it's your passion, and it's something that you like to do, you know, you, you're going to strive for success. Mr. Gutierrez is an incredible, incredible young teacher. He came through Pasadena ISD as a welding student in our welding program, was a welder in the field, then went to San Jacinto College and was teaching there. And then when we had an opportunity for a welding position available here, he filled that position for us. Pay attention to your fit up, all right? I'll be coming around if you have any questions. I feel like it chose me and I didn't choose it. We've had three students go to national competitions and win a gold medal, first place, and we're currently working on our fourth. What I try to do is treat this classroom or treat this shop like a job site. What I tell them is don't be satisfied with the minimal, okay? What you want to do is keep learning and keep learning and keep learning. It makes me feel accomplished, complete. It makes me feel like this student started from zero in this program. Throughout the years, learned, picked up a skill that after graduation, they can go work in the industry to provide for themselves, to provide for their families, to help out in the community, and more importantly, these kids, these students who matured and became adults are not in the streets no more. They can stay away from drugs, stay away from gangs, stay away from all those bad things, and now they can actually do something good and can support themselves and their families. Mr. Gutierrez is an amazing teacher. It's, I've enjoyed being in his class all these three years. When we enter into the class, it's usually the first, the handshake. He shows us how to be uh, respectful to whoever it is, and they'll show us to, in the future, be respectful for bosses, for the foreman, or for any, pers any person working there. Mr. Gutierrez has helped me become a better welder because he's always there on every step in case I need help in, like, to, to make a certain type of weld. He's always there to explain. Everything we do in the shop, he tries to relate it to out in the job site. We have to be out there by 12.05. That's really realistic because in the job site, you have to be on, on time. Once we step in the class, we go and change into a locker room. We go outside, you know, we have a little mini meeting about safety. We go get our tools ready, we start setting up our tools. We inspect our tools just to make sure, you know, they're all good and ready to go. And from there, we just keep welding. He's shown us how to work properly, how to be safe with our personal protective equipment, and how to use all the tools with care. And he has shown us many awesome tricks for, uh, that we could use in our career in the future. He's always shown us how to do it the easy way, but still the safest way. Mr. Gutierrez does a wonderful job with our welding students. He promotes safety, professionalism. Our students work in a great environment. He leads them, he guides them. And so we are so proud of him. And so we just look forward to great things from him in the future.